Hello friends, in this video I will be talking about git subtree command. With git subtree command, what happens is that you can convert your existing repository into multiple repositories. So for example, let's say in your repository there are 10 folders. So you can convert those 10 directories in 10 separate repositories. Main reason why people want to create a sub repositories is that once the sub repository is created, it can be easily integrated with the build servers. And that is the main benefit. And also it is very easy to manage all the directories and repositories under one folder. So that is another benefit. Let me explain you how you can do that. So basically what you need to do is that you need to first create the repository on the remote. So for example on GitHub you can create the fresh repository. And what we will do now is that we will map that repository with our folder in our current existing repository that is uh, in my local. So here you can see I have created already this repository on the GitHub. Okay. And then what you need to do is first execute this command git remote add origin tut. Okay, so this is actually the name of the repository. So it is an allies for this repository. You can give any name there. Okay, this one. The next thing that you need to do is that you need to convert your folder into a repository. So for that you have to execute this command git subtree add and then prefix basically you need to give the directory which you want to map to the new sub repository. So here you can see my main folder uh, is cloud encoding that is main repository or the parent repository we can call it and inside that there is one directory js stored js and inside that there is another directory awesome tweet. so we are we want to convert this directory into a sub repository that's why i have put it in the prefix the next thing that you need to do is that you need to give them a fresh repository that you had created in the step one so i had created this repository so given this path or you can also give the allies as well so origin tweet is an allies for this repository so I, you can give that one as well and followed by the branch name so recently github has started naming the default branch uh, as main so you have to give that branch name or whatever branch name you have created so what this command does is that it creates the uh, repository uh, like out of this directory okay so this directory will be treated as a separate repository and then uh, finally uh, you can commit the changes and you can push the changes so when you push the changes what happens is that remember that i had the origin repository so that is my parent uh, repository okay so when you commit and push the changes will be pushed to the main repository okay now to push the changes to the sub repository what you need to do is execute this command okay git sub to push and then again the prefix so this is the directory that we are mapped and then a repository allies and branch name so what will happen is that the changes that you have done in that particular directory or some to it will be pushed to the uh, new repository that sub repository that we had created in this step so this is how you can create multiple repositories under same repository if you have more questions let me through the comments thanks for watching